Greetings, YouTube. I made this. It's a it's a mace. I happen to be really quite proud of it. It's got a nice heft to it. I got like the patina. It's got that wonderfully post-apocalyptic aesthetic that I enjoy so much. But in reality, I, I conceived of this. I didn't make it. Um, the tool handle, uh, I bought at a estate sale. It came out of, uh, out of someone else's tool. I didn't know what kind. Um, but more importantly, before that, it came out of a tree. And the earth made that. And the fasteners in here, the, the lag bolt and two washers and the sets and, and the wood screw that hold this whole thing together, um, I didn't make those either. And the gears are made out of steel. I didn't make those. I didn't design them. I didn't produce them. Um, but this makes me connected. This makes me connected to dozens, hundreds of people. Those that harvested the wood and designed the machine that could make the handle and deliver it. Those that dug the ore and turned it from crushed rocks into these things. Those that designed the machines that were allowed that all to happen. But on a much larger scale, this connects me with bigger things. You see, these are made out of steel. And steel is just modified iron. And we can't make iron. Like I said, we dig it out of the ground. Do you know where iron gets made? Iron gets made in the heart of dying stars. Do you know where else you find iron? Right here. In your blood. Right now, there's iron coursing through your veins. There is star stuff inside you. You wouldn't exist. You wouldn't be able to live and breathe and watch this video if it weren't for the fact that you are connected to a billion year old galaxy, billions of years, and all those dying stars. And we don't think about that a whole lot. We're not good at deep time, but we're also not good at remembering that we're connected to everything. The dying stars, the planet, the designers, the diggers, the makers, the doers. And for some strange reason, a whole lot of folks um, in the world ally themselves with the owners and not the doers. Those at the top that are parasites upon the efforts produced by the doers. Efforts that they just control, because I don't know why, but we let them. And it's be important that it's important that we remember that you have them far more in common with those that made this and uh, grew the trees and harvested them and dug the earth and delivered this in a truck. That you have more in common with your friends and your neighbors and the people you bump elbows with in the stores and the people you stand next to at work. They're the ones that you have the connections with. Not the billionaires at the top that you've never met and never will. The ones that exist because they're willing to exploit and abuse you. One of the doers. Why do we do that? Why do we ally ourselves, ourselves with people that exploit and abuse us? That cheat us? that take from us, that act in unethical and immoral ways every single day of their lives, because there is no way to ethically become a billionaire. You do not ethically become a billionaire. You can be very wealthy and be ethical, but you'll never be a billionaire. Look at Dolly Parton. She could be a billionaire. Do you know how many people she's helped? Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. You know how much money she gives away all the time? Why? Because she's an ethical and moral person and she never forgot who her allies are. So, come this November, remember who your allies are. Your neighbors and your friends. And in case anybody out there that works for a billionaire happens to ever see this video, you might want to remind them something. That this right here, this is a simple thing. It was, uh, it was remarkably easy to make. 
And you know, it's incredibly easy to use. 